All right, so uh, I'm just gonna go over how I took off the uh, front of my supercharger, and then I'll go over how to get out the rotors and then replace the bearings in the rear. It's, uh, I haven't gotten to the rear yet, so I'll figure this out as I go. But basically, for the snout of the supercharger, you need to take out all of these little bolts around the outside. Yeah, yeah, all of them. And then, once you get all those out, you just basically just take a deadbolt hammer and hit it, and then it'll come right apart. I mean, it'll take a little bit of hitting, don't, don't give up, but. And then make sure you save these gaskets that are on there. Very important, there's one on the rear also. Which, uh, if you look, is why I can't just, you know, take the bearings out from the rear and make it nice and easy, you know? They just had to make it difficult, makes Mercedes, uh, so you have to take out the rotors on the inside, which are driven by this. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so the issue with this is you see these two bolts? You cannot get them out without first taking off the clutch pack, which is right here. Oh, not the clutch. That's hot. The clutch itself. Well, this isn't the clutch. This is the, just the magnet part. I mean the part that attaches to the clutch on the pulley. But in order to get that off, you need one of these bad boys. It's just a really cheap one from Harbor Freight. It was like, like 20 bucks for three of them. So, I mean, worked fine. I had to cut the end off. As you can see, had to uh, cut it off because it was too big to fit around this without getting hit. So, and, oh, hi, Gracie. So then, I just put a washer there to protect the, uh, protect it, and it basically just indented itself into there and came right out. And you have to heat it up with a blowtorch. So basically, you take the blowtorch, make sure the puller's on the blowtorch, I mean, on the, this, and then you just go around it slowly. And eventually you'll hear a pop. Once it pops, just take your, I use an impact, you can use a ratchet, but the impact was a lot easier. And then you just start tightening down the puller, and then this will eventually slide up. Hold on, let me grab. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is put the puller around the outside only, because on the inside, there's supercharger there. I mean, the magnet of the supercharger, so you don't want it here. You want it on the outside. And yeah, and then you just tighten down on it. Eventually, this will come loose. You'll hear it pop. Oh, you also need to take a, these out. There's a better video on it for a E55 AMG on a guy who obviously knows what he's doing better than me, which is what I referenced to do this. So I'll put that in the description, most likely. Unless I forget. If I forget, just ask me in the comments. But uh, yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna get to work getting this part off. See, there's two parts of the supercharger. This part here, and then, well, there's like all the parts. These are the two front parts. You have the snout with these things. Don't forget, some of these might fall off, like stay in here in these holes. Don't forget to grab them. And then I'm gonna have to separate this one. And then once I separate this one, the rotors should slide out, and then I'll be able to access the bearings. The bearings I bought hopefully are the right ones are these they are 6203 zz c3 i don't know what that means but yeah you can see it here kind of yeah basically i think those are right some guy told me they were right so i'm assuming he's right but uh yeah yep oh and also when you take this out you really need to uh hold on you really need to replace this seal here because it will be destroyed after all that heat. You pretty much just, you can buy it off of Need wing, Needs Wings, I think. Yeah, that's where I bought mine, so you just have to replace that. Just take a pick and pull it out and then put put the new one in, it's not too hard. But uh, yeah. Oh, and another thing, this oil smells like absolute ass. It is the worst smell. All right, so as you can see, rotors are out on the c32 
these bearings, they come out with the supercharger. I mean, with the rotors. On the E55, they will stay inside. But on the E55, you don't have these caps here. So all you gotta do is pull the rotors out. A lot easier. But as you can see, pretty dirty, but yes, it is out. And, uh, right, so this part was a little bit of a pain. Getting the snout off, pretty easy, pretty easy. But uh, this part, you know, a little tougher. So what you gotta do is, there's like these uh, pins here that you gotta, I think there's two of them, or only one, I don't know where the other went. But uh, yeah, you just gotta keep working at them and eventually it'll come off. So basically what I did was I took my dead blow and I hit it a bunch of times like that. And eventually like a tiny little crack appeared. Once that little crack comes, what you gotta do is I took the screwdriver here, put it like that, and then I hammered the end of the screwdriver. And slowly but surely, the rotor started moving out. And then eventually, it just popped. And then I was able to grab it by hand and wiggle it out slowly. And then when I took that off, that's when I saw the bearings were here and not in the supercharger. Which I was kind of hoping they'd be left in the supercharger. Because something told me it's going to be a pain to get out. So uh, I'm going to get to work on these figure something out to get them off might have to heat them up a little bit but once they're off I will make resume the video and then show you guys how I did it Shut it off, rotate it, and then you're gonna take a screwdriver and hammer it in there. That's it. All right, so both bearings are off. It's really easy. Once you get it far enough off with the screwdriver that you hammered in, just take a pry bar and basically pry it out. If you have to, you can just, oh shit. Yeah, do not reuse these bearings after you're done. But uh, if you have to, once you get it off, just uh, well off a little bit, just add some more heat on the inside of the bearing. Do not heat the outer race. I mean, you, you can if you want, but there's really no point of doing that. And yeah, here are both bearings. Again, the bearings I bought were the correct ones. These are 6203ZC3. I don't know what that means, but they do seem to match up with my bearings that I have. Where are they? There they are. Yeah, so gonna gonna reinstall the bearings and then I think how I'm gonna do it is probably I don't want to heat my new bearings so I might might just put those in the freezer freeze them nice and tight we'll contract them and then slide the bearings on or use a heat gun on these get them slightly hotter and then hammer them on. Don't really know what I'm gonna do yet, but uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, so got those, oh, I already said I got both bearings off, but uh, yeah, and uh, front drive is off. So what I'm gonna do is put this in the freezer, cover the front with a towel because that oil smells bad. And then once it's frozen, I will should be able to just slide the new bearings on really easily. I might have to heat the new ones up with a heat gun a little bit, but it should just be a little cakewalk. And then what I'm gonna have to do is put this back in, hammer it back in, most likely gonna have to. And then once it's back in, I'll 
course, don't forget the gasket. I'll probably add some copper spray gasket onto them. And then once that's in, just uh, once that's in, just uh, put the snout back on. All the bolts, those bolts, there are two still in the snout that I can't get out because of the magnet. I'm not gonna worry about that. And once that's off, I mean, once that's back on, just have, don't forget to add the supercharger one because you should have drained it when you took off the uh, front snout or if you forgot to drain it. Um, it would have spilled all inside your engine bay. And then, yeah, as you can see, I have a second supercharger. I have two. I did that one as practice and to make a video on it. It's a lot easier to show than it is in the car. But I will be doing this one in the car because this one has less miles on it. But it has a bad rear bearing, one or two of them. Yeah, so I might might make like a little bit of a quick section walkthrough of tips that I have for this one, but that should be more than enough to do it yourself. It's really not that hard. I was I was expecting it to be like a six hour job, but it really only took me like an hour. Pins, snap ring. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. There were snap rings on the back of this rotor. I mean, yeah holding the bearing in. So you're gonna have to take those snap rings off with some snap ring pliers. It was really easy. Uh, don't lose them, because if you lose them, you're screwed. I don't know where you'd buy those, so yeah. Doing it in the car will be a lot harder for you if you're doing it like that. I would recommend pulling off the supercharger, because you can redo the gaskets here, and here, and underneath. And uh, yeah, oh, that's not good. But yeah, once all that is on and done, you should have a perfectly running supercharger with new rear bearings. Now, if you have noise in the front, I've had a few people tell me that if there's noise coming from the front of the supercharger and it's not the rear, your supercharger's done, buy a new one, you're never gonna fix it. But the rear bearings really aren't hard. If you have a dog. All right, well. That's it for me. I might make an, another video on this if I have to pull that one off, which I might have to because there's got a little boost leak in the back that I fixed before, but might have started again. So I should have made a video when I did this one before, but for now, that's it. Good luck.